Hey, what is up guys, it's Diego back in the video. Today I am here with another Primal video that was supposed to come out earlier this week, but it has been a very long, busy, and stressful week, so I do apologize for that. But today we are going to be doing something a little bit different with this Primal video. So as you probably already know, I made a video a few days ago in regards to the newest episode of Primal that was released on April 1st. After making that video, I felt pretty satisfied with everything I said and all the points I made. But it seems that I didn't get everything 100% correct, which many of you pointed out in the comments of that video. So today I wanted to take the time to correct my mistakes, as well as adding some things that I failed to mention in the previous video that you guys also pointed out in the comments. But before I do, I want to thank everyone for taking their time to watch my video as I didn't expect it to do so well, and I appreciate all of the input that you guys had for that video. Anyways, let's start off with my corrections since they're pretty minor. So as many of you mentioned, apparently this dinosaur is not a Brachiosaurus, but a Camarasaurus. That's what I thought when I first watched this episode, but I ended up reading an article about it after I watched it that called this sauropod a Brachiosaurus. And I figured, judging by the size of the thing, I thought it would be more closer to a Brachiosaurus than a Camarasaurus. But let's be honest, I don't think the creators behind Primal really care about what's accurate or not which is the beauty of this show. So I'll just go ahead and take your guys' word for it and just say it's a Camarasaurus. Another correction that I'd like to make is that I don't think this episode's sole intention was necessarily based around our current global issue, which I made people think with the points I made in the previous video. Yes, many would agree that it was released during the time because the episode just so happened to be based around a virus of some type that infected dinosaurs, which does relate to our current situation, but again, based on what you guys said, it couldn't have been the creator's overall intention. Many of you backed this up by pointing out how difficult it would be to actually push out an animated cartoon an episode in such a short span of time, especially during a time where everyone is being quarantined and are working at home. I don't know why I didn't take this into consideration the first time around, but nonetheless these comments really made me think about that and I have to say I agree with you guys. Regardless, even if this wasn't the creator's actual intentions and this whole episode was purely coincidental to our current global issue, I still feel like my point in the previous video can still be valid to an extent. Since everyone can have a different interpretation of the meaning of these episodes or anything really, even if it wasn't meant to be. But the creator's overall intentions are different from the conclusions I made about the episode, which again, some of you pointed out, so I'll be taking a look at those next. One of the comments I received from someone by the name of Soldier Gigas 14 pointed out something very interesting behind the meaning of this episode. The comment stated, Sauropods in media are usually depicted as peaceful and gentle giants. Gendy was showing us in Plague of Madness that even the most brutal virus can tear the depiction to pieces, revealing the harsh reality a mirror to our society. Thanks for that input, Soldier Gigas14. I think it's safe to say that this is a pretty solid interpretation of the episode, and if this was Gendy Tartakovsky's whole point, he made it in the best and most horrifying way possible, and I'll admit it does make a lot more sense than my original point. That was really the only comment that pointed out something relevant to the meaning of the episode that I haven't really seen yet, and it was just something that I wanted to share with you guys because I actually really like this point. It takes something that's presented as a peaceful, gentle giant in mainstream media and shows it off as something truly horrific for the purpose of displaying the similarities between the show and our society. Pretty dark stuff. It really makes me happy to see meaning behind something like these shows and it's the reason why I like them so much. Moving on, some of you guys also asked if this episode was really just a one-off or if it was a continuation of the rest of the series. When I first watched this episode, I was under the impression that it was just a one-off that was exploring a different area of Primal that wouldn't be a part of the main series. The main piece of evidence behind this was the fact that it was aired on April 1st, so the fact that people thought that this was just a prank on the fans made them, including myself, believe this episode had nothing to do with the rest of the series. But some of you pointed out that it could have been a part of the rest of the second half of the first season, and it was just aired out of order and only aired recently due to the current virus outbreak. This is possible because realistically, what's stopping them from doing that? The only thing in terms of the show that it would affect is the chronological order they're supposed to be aired. I don't know for sure about that, but I thought I'd just point that out seeing how I did constantly refer to this as a one-off in my previous video. The truth is, I don't 100% know whether it is or not. I guess only time will tell when we see the rest of the series that's coming later this year. But until then guys, thank you all for your input and corrections. Please forgive my inaccuracies and I promise you that I'll do better with my research and even using my common sense in future videos. If there's anything I missed, please do not hesitate to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Primal and other cool dinosaur stuff I post on this channel. That's all I have to say for now guys. Thank you so much for watching and please 
have a nice day.